Allegheny County banned a local man from all of its pools after police say he was exposing himself to people at North Park. Megan Schiller talked to the person who alerted police to the alleged flashing. She joins us live with news developments. Megan. County police tells me that the victim, excuse me, the suspect turned himself into police just a short time ago. He's facing a list of charges, including indecent exposure and open lewdness. Now, the victim says that she is glad that he's facing these charges, and she said that he knew what he was doing. On this beautiful 80 degree day, hundreds kicked off the holiday weekend at the North Park pool, but one regular wasn't there. I just heard that. Um, the guy was being very provocative. That's just, that's uncomfortable to think about mm -hmm. happening, especially in front of the kids. Tori Schmalstig and Nicole Kissel said everyone's talking about it. The victim called police and then posted on Facebook. Her post begins with the word WARNING in all caps. And it was unbelievable. We just couldn't even believe it. She didn't want to show her face, but said 62 year old Christopher Steffi deliberately exposed himself to her and other kids nearby was like shaking his hips around and his private area was exposed to me and several other children at the time who was actually heading into the changing area. Police quickly learned it allegedly happened a few days before as well. I knocked on his front door in Wexford. Did they come and get him or? No. The woman said he was at the hospital visiting his sick father. Steffi's facing charges of indecent exposure and open lewdness. And so what happens if he tries to come back here to the North Park pool? I'm told that the employees have been briefed. They are prepared and they know what to do. Also, now we have a statement from the Parks Department about how they are planning to ban him from the county pools for the time being. We'll have all that information coming up at 6. But for now, reporting live in North Park, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.